The unmanned mission is a critical step to putting Americans back on the moon for the first time in a half century. But there is more to this trip than just scoping out a nice place for astronauts to land. CBS 8's Brian White went to the San Diego Air and Space Museum to find out why Artemis 1 is such a big deal. The Artemis 1 will be launching from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and I've actually been there before in person years ago to observe a shuttle launch. And let me tell you, it was an awesome experience for me, and I'm sure tomorrow's launch will not disappoint. We're very excited, and we can feel the excitement mounting. Astronaut Kate Rubens is a candidate to be on board for a future Artemis mission. She says Monday's launch is an important test of the equipment. One of our main objectives is to look at the heat shield. Uh, in order to get the heat shield at this 5,000, thousand degree heating uh, and and check out all of our objectives around the moon uh, we need to do this test launch and so we're looking for things like uh, the loading to go well the launch and then we're, our eyes are really on re-entry uh, for the heat shield and the capsule recovery standing tall at 322 feet the artemis one rocket is the most powerful ever built by nasa once in space the orion module will detach and travel to the moon its orbit will take it about 62 miles above the lunar surface before it continues about 40,000 miles beyond the moon. 50 years ago, we were on the moon, so this is absolutely huge for our nation, but it's huge for the world. It's huge for deep space exploration. Jim Kidrick, president and CEO of the San Diego Air and Space Museum, says Artemis 1 is the first of three missions. In 2024, Artemis 2 is expected to travel a similar route, but manned. In a year or two after that, Artemis 3 will be another manned mission that will actually land on the moon and sustain a presence there. Different from Apollo missions of the past, the Artemis missions are all in preparation for deeper space exploration to eventually land on other planets like Mars. We've got to ensure that we can go to and from the moon, we can live on the moon, because if we can live on the moon, we can most likely live on Mars. After the Artemis mission length of about 42 days, the module will splash down in the Pacific Ocean near California. It's an exciting time for the next 40 years. Stand by, hold on, because uh, those next greatest generations are going to get to do some great stuff. The Artemis 1 is set to launch from Cape Canaveral, Florida early in the morning. Now with that East Coast time difference, it'll be at 5.33 a.m. Pacific time. From Balboa Park, I'm Brian White for CBS 8.